back to normal this week, video responses first. Hannah, must be nice to listen where you can get to a show. Or any sort of civilization. I was also thinking a lot about your challenge about the one who got away. And I'm kind of thinking I don't have one who got away. Which at first made me feel pretty good. Like I've made enough good choices in my life and pursued everyone that I want to pursue. And done all that I could to make them not get away. Which kind of makes me sound like a stalker. But then, on the other hand, the thought kind of made me feel like I hadn't put myself out there enough, or loved enough, took enough risk to have someone who got away. Which just then made me think, why do people get away? Is it good that people get away, or is it bad that they get away? Philosophical Katie strikes again! Person who got away? I'm not sure exactly who you are, but I hope you're having a fulfilling life out there. Hannah, in your call you said that people who don't respond to other people that reach out are evil government robots. Which I just can't quite agree with. Well, I agree with you that there is something really wrong with that situation. I think it's malfunctioning government robots that don't respond. Only something that's short-circuited could be so cool. Matt? I think you got the lyrics to that song wrong. I think it's... Snow. What is it good for? Absolutely everything. It can't snow enough, in my opinion. And it hasn't snowed here yet, and it's making me so mad. What book is that? I'm glad you can recognize your creeper stash as such. I was really worried that you thought it was cool for a second. Can you please get your dad to guest star in the vlog with his stash? Can that be a challenge? I mean, a picture would also work. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and challenge you to prove that you lost the facial hair competition. David. <laughs> I loved your winter tip. What are the four points for Matt for? Is it for knowing what eunuchs are? Because I know that too. I mean, have you ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean? You're not a eunuch, are you? This vlog has been going for a long time. I mean, I was optimistic when we started this whole shindig, but even I thought it would end after a couple months. And yeah, there have been a few hiccups of <coughs> David uploading late. <coughs> But mostly it has been excellent. I am really impressed with our dedication and our tenacity. So in honor of the length of this video blog, I have made a list of things that it has outlasted. That one clean water clipboarding job that I had. Dating Pat. Being in high school choir. Dating Mitch. Every college class I have ever taken. Dating both Good John and Bad Johnny. And every workout plan I have ever attempted. Update on my life. Pretty much all I do is school hang out with cohort members while we attempt to do school, but really just talk about how much we love candles and how much we wish it was break, and work. So I'll update you on one of those things. My practicum journey has come to an end. I totally just rebelled and created my own because I wasn't feeling super great about any of the ones that were offered. So I will be working with a communications advisor to academically and career advise declared to comm majors. Yay! I called the rental company and figured out that heat is free in our apartment and I can't figure out how to turn it on. It's supposed to be a high of 31 this week. At some point when I was filming on Tuesday, I managed to um, get mixed up and turn the camera off when I was turning it on and turn it on when I thought I was turning it off. And so there's a solid like eight minutes of me just sitting there thinking and typing and eating a Snickers bar. So I've included a little bit of that for you.